Saw 2004 was directed by James Wan and written by Lee Winnell. Stars Tobin Bell, Carrie Elwise, Danny Glover, and Shawnee Smith. Saw is known for its gruesome kills, clever traps, and perhaps has one of the most recognizable horror icons, Billy the Puppet. Over the next four months, I will be giving you a Saw review every other week on Friday, which will lead me into April, and then in between I will do the Leprechaun reviews starting on St. Patrick's Day. Throughout the series, many of the films show graphic imagery that I will not be able to show on YouTube, so I will try to explain it to the best of my ability. Alright, let's get started. Starting off with the positives of this movie, the movie is automatically interesting. You want to know who, what, when, and where. Like, why are these people in this bathroom? Who is Jigsaw? And why is he doing this? It's automatically a setup for an interesting horror movie. In this movie, the characters are interesting enough where you want to see them escape. And you want to see them go free. You don't want to see them suffer. And like other horror movies where you, the characters are one note and just boring and you just want them to die already. You know? The movie has an interesting bad guy. There's more tapes and more things to follow that you have to find so these guys can escape. And the bad part about it is, is that if you don't do it in time, then Jigsaw ultimately kills them. And you don't want to see them happen, but in a weird way, you kind of do. The bad part about this movie is that it does feel stuck in the early 2000s. You can't look at this movie and now say, oh, this was made in 2020. No, they would have to update a lot of the technology. One being VCR and tape recorders and cassette tapes and, and everything. So yes, you couldn't watch it now and say, oh, this was a modern movie. No, this feels like it's stuck in the early 2000s, which needs to die. Being in a series that's known for its gritty and gory violence, this movie is not that bloody. In the later sequels, it will get much bloodier, but in this movie, it's just really in a couple spots here and there. And it does have some offsetting imagery and traps, but other than that, this movie is the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It is not that bloody, so for gore hounds, it's kind of unfortunate. One good thing about this movie is that it started a whole other category of horror which would be classified as torture porn is what people call it, but we just call it like torture horror or escape room movies, you know, and it has inspired other movies, you know, like the escape room, funny enough, and some other movies, but it really started a whole nother section of the horror genre. I would have to say as a whole, most of the acting is pretty good, uh, except for a few people, but like in Carrie Elwise, Danny Glover, um, Amanda, or Shawnee Smith and a few scenes that she's in. It's all good. A lot of the writing is very good. I would say that Adam's acting in, was the weakest, but you just gotta think Lee Winnell is a writer, not an actor. So I would stick with more writing than acting, if you ever watch this video, which I doubt it. But yeah, the acting was pretty decent in this movie, and it does get worse in other movies, but in other movies it's pretty good. So Saw 1 did a good job of the acting. The editing in this movie is kind of a mixed bag. In some scenes it's edited good, but in other scenes it's like somebody just slept on the fast forward button and it really left it left the movie in the early 2000s. So I would say the editing is more of a mixed bag in my opinion. So this is my final score for the movie guys. As always, thank you for watching and I got another one of these videos coming out on the 24th. So I'll see you then. Thank you guys.